My name is Lava, and I'm here at the ThrowTech showroom working on the Speedy 400 today. Today I'm going to show you how to make a slide puzzle. These are like the small uh, party favors that you would get as a kid. Uh, it's a very straightforward project that has a lot of opportunities for customization. This is one where I painted an image right on top, and you can see that it moves around easily. You can mix it up and try to put it back together. Here's an example that I did in acrylic. This one just has the alphabet as a way of showing you what order it should be in. And the cool thing about this is that you can use the same uh, slide top for a box. So here's a jewelry box that has the same slide top. So you can only really get to one piece at a time. Uh, so let me show you how you can make your very own today. One option is to engrave the wood with masking tape uh, and use spray paint by selectively removing portions of the masking tape and uh, painting the other areas. So removing this and using spray paint just there and leaving the other areas masked. Another option is to actually paint it using acrylic paints and a brush. your actual tiles you need to make a bit of a you need to start setting up the the backing for your slide tile puzzle this you need some wood glue you're gonna take one of the squares and glue it right onto the backing sure that you clean up any extra glue before it dries because it's hard to clean up afterwards. You want to add this L piece next on one of the corners. It sticks out more than the level below and it'll be a good place to snugly fit in the tiles and assemble them. Once this is dry, you're going to take one of your perfect square bottom pieces and you're going to stick it right in that corner. Then you're going to add one of the pieces that has the three uh, truncated corners and the one 90 degree corner. This piece is going to sit right on top like this. This is where you will then add the... the yeah piece of the image at the very top. So for starters, to this piece you add a bit of glue and then you stick this right on top. Once it's dry, uh, you, can take, you can take the piece out and continue to assemble all the bottom pieces of your puzzle. The next step will be to add the top of your puzzle to the bottom two pieces that you've assembled. Uh, to do this, you want to make sure that you're going to assemble them perfectly level, that the top and the bottom will be parallel on both sides, and that the wedge that sticks out in the middle will be even on both sides. You add a dab of glue right in the middle. And using a flat surface, you stick the pieces together. You want to press tightly, and as it's drying, make sure you check both sides. Make sure that it's parallel on both sides. You're 
finished pieces should look like this. Thanks for watching our video. Let me know if you have any questions on this project and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.